It happened this past week, the death of a celebrated artist who faced both adversity and late in life, controversy. Chuck Close died Thursday just outside New York City of complications from a long illness. Born in Washington State in 1940, Close was an early adherent of photorealism. He gained international acclaim in 1968 with this huge black and white self-portrait, and he would spend the next 50 years redefining just what a portrait was, breaking the human face down into pixelated squares, as he explained to our Charles Osgood back in 2007. And it's a little bit like an architect picking a brick. You stack up the bricks one way, you get a cathedral. You stack up the bricks another way, and you get a gas station. In 1988, he suffered a serious spinal injury, which left him partially paralyzed. But fortunately, he was still able to paint. Thankfully, if I'm only going to be able to still do something that I used to do, uh, I'm pretty lucky that it turned out to be painting. But in 2017, several women accused him of verbal sexual harassment, which led the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. to cancel his show. But while the controversy will color his legacy for years to come, the impact of his art is undeniable. Whatever history's judgment for Chuck Close, his life and his art were inseparable. There is no artist alive working today who gets more pleasure day in and day out, year in and year out, than I do, period. Chuck Close was 81. I love little baby ducks, old pickup trucks, slow moving trains and rain. I love little country streams, sleep without dreams, Sunday school in May and hay.